What is going on guys? I finally crawled out of the dark internet cave and I'm outside. And I'm gonna show you how to make this wallpaper. So, yeah. So originally, this uh, idea came from this wallpaper right here. That looks sick, but it would be cool to change the image behind it and have a little bit of uh, customization in the shapes and stuff. So, easy way to get shapes is go to MS Paint. And here you can choose from shit ton of shapes that you want. I think I'm gonna make arrow going in either direction. That'd be pretty cool. So maybe something like that. A little more spaced out. Well, we can fix all that in Photoshop. So I'm gonna save this as a PNG to the desktop. I'm gonna have the two arrows as our, the main part that goes in the middle. So I'll drag this into Photoshop. Okay, maybe we don't need to. Maybe I'll just have one of these. Let me actually make this a transparent background. Make it 4K, just so it looks even better if you downscale it to 1080, 1440. So drag your thing in here. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right, you have to manually do it. Cut this from here. Don't need that anymore. Paste it onto here. Get rid of this part that I don't need. And now I can use the magic selection tool to delete all the parts that I don't want this all right so now we have half of it so all this make it bigger alt shift actually just to get it the right size that I want for the center part so there we go we have our base outline it's a little low resolution so we're probably gonna go over this with shape you need to make the around the outline for your thing i do not want this color change that to white so i'm just gonna tweak this how i would want it maybe like that you want it somewhat thick because you want to be able to see it against the background. So that's that's good. All right, so you can duplicate the layer. Turn this 90 degrees. Rotate. Rotate's always easier, isn't it? So I'm going to precisely line this up here.
Okay. So that looks pretty good. We have one side. We actually can duplicate this. We can merge all the visible layers to create one white arrow. So it looks pretty good. Just the one white arrow. So then actually we're gonna duplicate this after finishing all of the little edits to it. So as you can see here, there's parts of it that you can see are not perfect that you can just come in here, clean, clean them up with the eraser tool. Make them a little bit better. We have this layer on top of here. You can come in and make it perfect. Okay. So probably just come in, delete that part. That looks right. All the other edges are pretty good. Pointy arrow on the front. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So now you wanna bring in whatever background you have. I'm just gonna use plain black for right now until I add in one just as a placeholder for the time being. You wanna make a separate layer to put the black on so it doesn't look weird. Hmm. Okay, we have this part that we need to clean up. You can just do that. Delete. Looks good. Maybe you can come in here. Have the corners kind of flat. If you like, look at that. Looks alright. Flat cornered arrow. Looks pretty good. Alright, so now. Now that you have your outline that you want, I can pretty much get rid of this layer right now. So now that you have your outline, you can add in your photo thing that you want as the background. So we can add this in. All right, so I'm gonna add this photo in, new layer. It's a bigger resolution, so it shouldn't matter. If we resize it, we won't lose any detail in it. Alright, so I have this one, and then put that above the black. And you have the arrow right here. I'm gonna actually face this upwards. All right, so you have your arrow thing. So now you can either put this, I'm probably actually gonna duplicate this. And now I have it here. All right, so you duplicated your layer. And now you're gonna wanna come to the one that's on the top. Go take the polygon lasso tool, zoom, so you have the full outline in view and just select inside the outline. It doesn't have to be precise at all, just as long as it's inside the outline. So have this. Have it here. So again, it doesn't have to be precise, just as long as it's inside the white outline you have. Cut the pixels on the top layer, and then paste them in a new layer. Have this here. And want to hide the outline that you have, and now you can align it. it. Doesn't have to be too precise. Just make sure it aligns roughly about right with the image. It doesn't matter if there's a little transparent gap in between because it'll be hidden by the outline. Gonna do the same for the other one over here. So 
So now that you have all your shapes and stuff and your outlines and you have it cut up so it looks like this and you have the missing pieces in the middle and you have your outlines. Now it's time for the pretty fun part. You can come to this layer, re-enable the layer underneath as well. Come to this layer. Now you can add your blur. So you can really add whatever blur you want. I'm probably gonna go for around 25 maybe. That looks pretty good. So about 25. Okay. Come down here. Also set the blur for 25. So you can see there's little missing parts in the side that if you deselect this, there will be a little transparent gaps. So just have a full copy of the original background there. Add the same blur, 25. And now you have your background parts here. 